recovery teams refloated a huge cargo vessel impeding shipping in the port of Baltimore early on Monday, May 20, and pulled it free of the main channel two months after the boat crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge and caused the span to collapse. Tugboats led the dolly to a local marine terminal after a successful effort to make the container ship buoyant at about 6.40 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time 10.40 GMT, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said on social media platform X. The removal of the dolly marked a significant step in the port of Baltimore's recovery from the boat's March 26 collision with one of the bridge's support pillars. The bridge's collapse killed six road workers and hindered traffic through the busiest port for car shipments in the U.S. President Joe Biden praised the team that freed the ship from its weeks-long imprisonment under the bridge's wreckage in a post on X on Monday. It took the grit of workers and officials coming together to get this done. Biden said. That's Baltimore strong. Maryland Governor Wes Moore told NBC on Sunday that workers were on track to restore full access to the port this month. Since the bridge collapsed, authorities have opened four temporary channels to allow some shipping to resume. Crews set off control explosions last week to allow them to remove a portion of the fallen bridge from the bow of the dolly, which had been pinning the boat in place. That allowed salvage crews to haul away the twisted metal wreckage using cranes and barges and free the boat for refloating and removal. The Corps of Engineers said. Federal investigators said in a preliminary report last week that the dolly had lost electrical power several times before crashing into the bridge as it was leaving the port. Maryland state officials estimate it will cost 1.7 billion US dollars, 2.29 billion Singapore dollars to 1.9 billion US dollars to rebuild the bridge and anticipates completion by fall 2028.